Welcome back, nerds and nerdettes. We got a new series coming at you today. We're going to be walking through Save the World. I know a lot of people got it with the new crew packs and bundles that released, and it's confusing if you've never played before. So we're here to hold your hand through the process. We're going to do a series starting with showing you the menus, how to build survivors, heroes, how to do certain missions. We're going to walk you through the whole thing. If you enjoy the content, smash that like key. We also stream on Facebook Gaming, so if you are going to swing into one of our streams, we'd be happy to help you out, maybe even run a few missions with you. Sash that subscribe key, hit those notification bells. So if this is something that does help you out, we'd love to know it. We want to be able to continue to provide you content. You guys have been very supportive of us, and we want to make sure we keep providing you great stuff. Get you coming back. If there's anything we can do, let us know. If there's anything you enjoy, please leave it in the comments below. All our notifications and social media is there as well. You guys take care. Enjoy the video. All right, so as we stated in the intro, uh, this is gonna be a video kind of going over the overlay of your actual loading screen when you first log in, what you need to know on these tabs and the sub tabs. So we're gonna start here with Quest. This is your main storyline. This is the different zones you'll start in. Your home base, Shield Defense 1. It's more or less your very beginning of the game. Kind of teaches you what's going on. So. You'll get rewards and you'll see them on the right side. I'll tell you what to do. Establish your storm shield, defend your storm shield. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to click on the storm shield, protect it. You'll get two common survivors, V-Bucks, uh, base Kyle, and then you'll get your squad. Every time you go to a new section, <clears throat> you'll get new rewards, pickaxe upgrades, different weapons. So this is kind of your progression. I'm going to do a whole video on how to complete um ride the lightning storm shield all the different uh challenges you'll face in a, in a pretty simple way to to get used to starting it so once you go through these storylines this will bring you through all your quest lines you'll unlock characters survivors weapons as we talked about so this is your very basic format at the end of every one there is a rocket that you have to complete, which takes you to the next zone, which once again will give you V-Bucks, increase upgrades, better variants, uh, weapons, things like that. Now, the other thing you'll see on the page at the bottom are these little tabs. Your venture tabs, it's just a standard zone. This will show you a different path where you can level that levels up top. It shows you your rewards. Uh, this is something you don't have to worry about early game. Everybody starts off at level one and then you progress as you do these levels. So you're leveling with people, even if you're, you know, level five in the game and they're level 140, everybody kind of starts in the same exact spot as far as weapons and stuff goes. So these are pretty fun to do, but not something that you're going to do right away. Um, you'll have your imposter. This is part of the ventures. You can do these in the blasted lands. You'll have your own, when you go in, you'll have your own challenges to do. These will be something like you can unlock him, you know, eliminate a hundred husk in adventure zone. This one was, you know, uh, collect gas cans at adventure zone. This was, you know, something different, smash cars, I think it was. And those are ones you'll do once again in the adventure zones. Hit the road is something you might want to do once a week. Um, they do do different rewards. These are pretty simple. You just got two zones, depending on your level. Uh, last week was Rex Jonesy, which is a hero you get. Uh, these will change. These will um, go week over week. They do give good rewards um, at the end of them. So I tend to do the 58 because I can do 58. And I'll run these a couple times. You can just start here if you really wanted to do it. You might be a different level on your screen. And that's kind of what these corners are. <clears throat> these are your different updates that change regularly. This is your main quest line. Your map is starts here. So you have Stonewood. You'll only be able to access Stonewood and the Venture Zones. Then you go to Plankerton. Once you finish Plankerton, you go to Canny Valley. Once you finish Canny Valley, you go to Twine Peaks, which I don't have yet. And then you'll go to um, the Hit the Roads and your Venture Blasted Lands. Those are all the ones available to you. So those one zone I haven't been to yet. So when you go into a zone, let's start here where you would normally start. 
and you go to Stonewood. This will show you this is your home base. So once you complete 10 um, shield defense, you'll get an endurance option, which is uh, reward you with Llama Hero XP. They all do. Some even give you um, V-Bucks. These are your different zones. This is all the stuff available when you start leveling. These are your different challenges. Fight the storm, ride the lightning, rescue survivors. They all have their own rewards you'll see on the left side. So if I click there, you'll see four times hero XP or survivor XP. Tickets, hero XP, gold. I'll show you what that's for. Recommendation, mini bosses, things like that. And I'm going to go through each and every one of these challenges to show you how to complete them and what you need to do. So you're not confused. Some of these are really easy, like resupply. You just go and you break a bunch of stuff and collect things. Encampments, um, you just have to kill these certain encampments, which you can do in any mission, but this one you have specific ones. And those are kind of your zones. You pick and choose what you want to do. I can go back and do any one of these. I can go all the way up to what I'm allowed to do. As a commander, this tab, this is kind of where you build your heroes, your power levels, things like that. The power level up here where you see number 59, that's based on your survivors, which we're going to go over. This level here is your account level. That's how far your character has developed your unlocks and things like this over on this side. Your hero, you have a managed hero. This will just show you all your heroes you have. You can upgrade them from here. You can go to the different categories. I'm going to do a whole video on heroes, hero loadouts, but I'm going to show you the tabs for now. This is soldiers, uh, your constructors, your ninjas, and then your outlanders. Manage them. I'm sorry, not manage them. Hero loadout uh, will show you the hero you choose, their abilities on the left. Uh, the bottom you'll see where it says assault damage increases assault or smd damage by 50 percent smg bonus does not stack with hip shot so this will show you what you're doing so you're getting assault rifle damage this is a team perk this will maximize your health by 200 uh 200 so i'm up to 137,000 health but i don't have any shield it's just way more health these are all your support members so you can take any hero you have and put them in these roles some stack with others Team perk requires two heroes, so I have two. I mean, two dinos. I have two dinos here. They all have their own abilities. For every one second, adds 3% of current health to damage. This will go over 2.125 health increase every five seconds, which will help here because I don't have any shield that regens. Assault rifle damage, and these are your gadgets. So I'll show you how all this works uh, a little bit more in depth. We'll build a few heroes. I only have two built right now because I'm doing the video on the side. Uh, I have archaeologists, and then I have the uh, rescue trooper Ramirez. And you'll see these as you get them. You'll unlock stuff. Defenders. I generally only keep the snipers. Uh, these are really good for the um, shield defenses and things like that. Don't worry too much about those. I literally only keep snipers and a couple handful of other ones there and there. Expeditions. You can pick categories here, which I already have everybody out. But you pick categories. You send one of your heroes out. And this will give you rewards. So this will be a medium supply. This is a small supply. This is a medium cargo. You know, it takes so many hours, and you'll get rewards based on your success rate, 100%, 100%, 100%. That's just because you can stack certain things. These are a good way to get supplies. If you don't get them, you'll only have a couple handful. As you start leveling, you'll get a lot more options, up to 20 hours. One hour, 17 minutes, it expires, but it's a 20-hour time frame to do the actual expedition. Under Commander, you got Survivors. These are all the heroes you'll get. Mythic, legendary, epic, so on and so forth. Don't stress over those. You can turn autofill on if you want. Uh, in the beginning, this will kind of pre-fill. But what these do is it gives you more, you know, plus 317, fortitude, 79 for team bonuses, offensive, easier damage. You'll see here this gives you different... Icons to match. I'm going to build a video on this as well. 
this will show you what you're getting. So you're getting extra 1100 um, fortitude and your shared party's getting 261. There's different categories you unlock these as you go. You can level these characters and upgrade them, which will add more defense, more offense, whatever the case may be. So don't worry about survivors too much. I will have a separate video on that with my hero loadout. But that will be something you'll just kind of work on as you get going. That is a more convoluted situation. Upgrades. You will get points, these little icons here, these little um, squares, as you uh, your level. <clears throat> and these will give you perks, healing you um, for health and people around you for three tiles. This will heal you for health, and it will go three tiles, plus it purges any negative effects. So these will increase your ability health. These will stay up longer, eight tiles, four rounds. This will go eight tiles, four rounds for 30 seconds, but the reduced time uh, will add another turret. So they all they just keep adding different perks as they get older. Then you get bag space. These are your tools, your gadgets, your build, resend, building health, storm shield, vaults, pickaxe. So all these will upgrade as well. If you play the game, every day you log in, this will add up. This will get research. You buy the research as you go along. This will increase your health, your um, you know current boost your health. This one will do your shield. This one will do your abilities and traps, so the ability um, ability traps, damage, healing, all this will increase. So these will just help you as you get more and more levels. You can do this daily. You can literally log in every day, click it, put them in until you max out your level, and then keep going. Profile will just show you your XP, your boost, where you're at level-wise, what the next levels will give you. So I'll get a survivor. I'll get some drops. I'll get three more points, and I'll get a bunch more XP. So those are just your next levels coming up. On the armory, these are schematics. These are the weapons that you can make. Uh, you'll be able to upgrade them, favorite them. You compare them to other weapons. This shows you the materials you need. Uh, so you'll need 11 malachite. You'll need a power cell. You'll need sturdy mechanical parts. These, I can go over an item video for you as well. And then blast powder. And then once you have all this, you can make them. These are perks. You can change those as well. I'm going to do a whole video on that. And these are just different weapons. You'll see some of them I have have perk upgrades like this. Some of them like uh, this doesn't have perk upgrades. But it shows you your crafting materials, how many you need. You can go over certain categories, melee weapons, your traps. So even when you upgrade these, You'll see on the right side here, you only need um, simple mining powder. You'll need simple mechanical parts and planks. Even if I were to upgrade this and evolve it, which I'll just do real quick for you because I like the broadside, you can level it up, which will be max level here. And you go over, the parts change. Now it's two fine grain, two sturdy parts, seven planks. That will put that at 77, so it increases the damage. All this is all my perk upgrades. So before, you start with simple stuff. Now it's fine grade, which I can still make a bunch of. You can do that with each of these traps. Simple twine, all that. If I go to upgrade and evolve, it now goes to sturdy twine, sturdy mechanical, and planks. So then you'll see what the parts are you need on the side. That's just kind of an overview of schematics. These are all the weapons, traps, everything you can make in the game. Your backpack is what you have made. So these are all the weapons I just kind of made because there were some materials I just wanted to use up. I can actually get rid of these. These are the craftable materials that you have enough parts for. So you'll see here I have all the parts. If I come down further, I should have enough for everything. But if you spend all this, these will have a little symbol on them. You can't make any more like this. Like I can max out. I use some lower level guns for the lower levels. You need 10 wood, four metal, uh, two nuts and bolts. I obviously have 3,000. I have a whole bunch more, which I'll show you in a second. Or if you want to do it the quick way, you can go to craft options. You can max out 40 and then craft it. Now you can't make any more. 
So that just kind of shows you what you have in your inventory. You have 160 spots to fill. I have 111 filled. All right, now that those are done, this is your backpack and your storage. So the backpack, remember we said we had 160. This is my storage. I have, you know, four, eight, you know, all the way through all this metal. Um, I can move metal from here and transfer it there. I could transfer it back. I usually clear it out before I go into a zone and I max out as much as I can. And then what I'll do is I'll have these for when I build my home base. These are all the different weapons I have. Shows the durability. One thing about weapons in this game is you do have durability. The more you use them, they will get weaker and weaker. You'll see this bar on the right. If you go into the actual schematic itself, the stats, you will see 89 of 359. So basically, once I use this weapon 89 more times, it will break. Once it breaks, it's gone. That's why you have to craft weapons in your schematic and your backpack fields. And then that's what the parts are for. You keep building them, building them. And once you upgrade them, they stay. The upgrades on the right here, none of that will change. All this will be the same. The levels will be the same. You just got to use the materials to make it. So it's not like you have to re-get a new weapon. You just got to craft it. Speaking of crafting and collecting, this book will show you all your heroes that you have. If you have doubles, put them in the book. If you have two of this, uh, if I had two Jonesy, I put the Jonesy in the book. I only have one, so I keep them out. I don't like to put ones I don't have two of. Like, I have two of these, so I could put, because I won't use the epic version. You put it in here, you'll receive rewards, and you unlock rewards. I actually have to go backwards. I should be at 160, but I went backwards. Um, if you put them in here, you can recruit the hero, which will cost you materials and flux, which you don't want to do. You can unslot the hero, which will cost you V-Bucks, which you hopefully don't have to do, which is why I actually went backwards because it was a bunch I slotted that I didn't know early game because no one made a video for me. This will tell you if you have one or two. Once you do fill them up, it'll say books completed. You know, I have a few of each, a couple extras. These are all filled. I have at least one of each of those. So please don't put them in if you don't need to. If you have them, great. If you don't, this isn't a big deal. The rewards are nice, but having the weapons are much better. And then your resources just shows you all you have, your manuals, your gold, your upgrades, um, tickets, things like that. Your locker is just like your battle royal. You can make your character. You can put your different emotes. You can put your different skins and use them in game. The shop. These are where you can spend V-Bucks if you want to get certain characters. If I don't have maybe one or two of these, I might spend the money. If you do decide to buy something, just like in Battle Royale, Snap and Boom Gaming, this will help and support the channel with our videos and our content. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a free way to support. But you can choose between one of these. So if I go here and I click this, these will show me the two I have. It'll tell me how many I own. I have two extras of those. I have one of these, plus I have one in the book. These I have one in the book. I have one in the book, but I own them both. So those are different things you can purchase. You'll get tickets as you do your levels and your and your um your gameplay. These will allow you to be free llamas. You do get free llamas on the side as well every now and then when you complete quests and challenges. That gold we talked about earlier, you can use it to buy any of this. Different schematics to make certain weapons. If you need more um, Eye of the Storm, Storm Shards, Lightning in a Bottle, all this stuff. Um, I always buy the gold flex, the legendary flex, and I always buy reperks. Depending on the um, things I'm doing, I generally will buy these as well. But we have some new heroes coming out that I'm holding my money for. I always buy the, gold, the survivor, so I have the legendary survivors. Uh, the dinos are one of the best combos, even though Tricera is not the best. But Tricera Ops is getting a rework. Loot schematics. Uh, there's another hero. There's some weapon schematics, legendaries, tokens for uh, armory slots. So there's a lot of things you can buy in the game. These do update. Um, event shops update. The weekly shop updates, obviously weekly. 
And then you have your standard store where you can buy your V-Bucks and things like that. It's a pretty simple walkthrough. Like I said, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on a couple categories. Uh, when it comes to uh, quests, just do what it says. You can click go to map and it will just go right to the quest. Your quest logs are your dailies, weeklies. Um, complete 10 missions in 40 plus zone. You can either take 500 gold. You can take the perk ups and the tickets. You have the option. There are um, different battles, war zones, your challenges. Here, these will give you XP. If you destroy um, beehive husk, it'll give you XP. So these are all different challenges you get. Hero quest challenges you'll have in the beginning. I haven't done this one, but basically if you're a constructor and you build a tower in a three plus zone, it's a very beginning kind of thing. You'll unlock this stuff. Um, I might just do it for the video when I do the videos for it. There's side quests, the quest you completed, your main quest line. You will have daily quests. Daily quests do give V-Bucks. Um, I finished them all, but you'll see here with the Robo Ray starter. If I do two more dailies, which I'll get one at 7 o'clock today and 7 o'clock tomorrow, I'll get an extra 400 plus 400 x-ray tickets. And that's really the quick and easy walkthrough of Save the World, kind of getting an understanding of the video, the different categories. We will go way more in depth once we get the next video up on the heroes, survivors, how to get different items, um, how to build loadouts, things like that. So if this helped you out, uh, just smash that like key. Please subscribe if you are new and you enjoy the content. And we do stream on Facebook Gaming. I am in the process of a new full-time job, so my schedule won't be Tuesdays and Thursdays like normal. It's just going to be any day I can. So drop a follow on there. And when we're live, stop on in, ask some questions. I'm going to be doing some more Save the World on stream because a lot of people have requested it. So that's going to be something I'm going to do this way. If you have questions or if you need help in some of the uh, challenges, you know, if you're back in Plankerton and you're like, hey, I'm doing a Storm Shield defense, uh, can you give me a hand? I'll team up with you. We'll do your Storm Shield events. You'll get the V-Bucks, props, things like that. I'll get some XP out of it. It'll be super easy. Uh -huh.